Hello everybody. If you'd ask us how was our 2021, we would say it was great, but it could have been even greater if Yellowstone would be around all year long. Now that we finally enter into 2022, our celebrations for the new year are mixing with the sadness over saying goodbye to Yellowstone once again. The show is one of the most successful series on American TV right now, meaning that we have no fear of cancellation or anything similar to that for a lot more years. Still, the show isn't exactly quick when it comes to releasing new seasons. Especially the pandemic troubled the show's schedule a lot, causing us to wait for almost two years for season four to be released. On the one hand, it was horrible, because season three had ended with a major cliffhanger and we had to come up with speculations to find any concrete answers to our questions throughout the waiting process. On the other hand, it became beneficial for Yellowstone to make its fans wait for so long since the show has become much more valuable for us, and by the time Season 4 premiered, the number of fans of Yellowstone was at least doubled. Nearly 11 million people tuned in to watch the Season 4 premiere of a show, and they were not disappointed. On the contrary, once again, we couldn't believe how a show can be so good and decided that it was worth waiting for all this time. Now that Season 4 is also coming to an end, we're both anxious and hopeful about the future. We are anxious because we know we will probably wait for at least a year for the next season. But we're also hopeful because the show will probably return with an even greater premise. For the final episode of the season though, our expectations are kinda moderate. Yes, we know that it's never smart to expect less from Yellowstone since the show has an abundance of great plots and love to twist our expectations. Still, since season 3 final was more than epic, we doubt season 4 will be able to outrun it. So far the season was great. It might even be the best season of Yellowstone so far. Still it was also lacking major twists and mostly focused on the character developments. We loved that aspect of the season as we got the chance to get to know our beloved characters even more deeply. That being said, we're also doubtful the show will step up its game and come up with major action scenes and unbelievable twists that will make us all shocked. This doesn't mean that the season final will not be a good one. On the contrary, we're expecting a pretty good ending for season 4. However, while it will probably be lacking on the epic scale, it will probably be doing wonders on the emotional scale. In the previous episodes, we watched John's change of heart toward his children. First, we watched him hanging with Casey a lot, as he never left him alone during the morning rides. However, since Monica and Tate were miserable in Yellowstone, John had to let Casey go. Even though he still loves his son, we can confidently say that there is a slight resentment toward him for not being able to stay in Yellowstone somehow. John experienced great loneliness after Casey left, and we feel like he is blaming Casey for it just a little bit. Then, he welcomed Beth with open arms to his home. Their father and daughter relationship has always been a unique one, as it's obvious John sees her as his true heir since she is the one that most resembles him. They're best friends, colleagues, and also partners in crime. That being said, the entrance of Summer Higgins into their lives changed everything about the two. Beth's hostile attitude towards Summer was unacceptable for John and yet, he still managed to stay calm. But, when Beth caused Summer to face a lifetime in prison, John has had enough and lashed out to her. It was clear that John was disappointed in Beth and couldn't believe she can be this cruel against someone so innocent. This realization caused John to kick Beth out of Yellowstone, which devastated Beth. Last but not least, we watched John feeling neutral about Jamie at first. However, that feeling got quickly replaced by resentment and even anger. He resented Janie because Jamie didn't even come to the hospital to visit him. He got angry with Jamie because he chose to listen to Garrett rather than him. Eventually, his feelings toward Jamie got so strong that he decided to challenge him in the governorship race as he knew if Jamie becomes the governor, Garrett will be the one who governs. And yet, the promo of the new episode showed us a shocking scene, proving that John's feelings toward Jamie are changing once again. In the footage, John states that he still loves Jamie since he is his son and he cannot help it. This is a major thing for John to say since he is a true patriarch who often refuses to talk about his feelings especially towards a man even if he is his son. Thus, we expect the season final to focus on John's relationship with his children, especially Beth and Jamie, as he will probably take Jamie back to the family while saying goodbye to Beth for good. We know that this is a radical scenario to claim. However, John is the type of guy who cannot stay alone. Therefore, he needs to replace Beth somehow. 
Jamie is the perfect candidate for its sense if he manages to welcome Jamie back to the family, he can get rid of Garrett as well. Beth would probably react to such development with an outrage though, which will be entertaining to watch. Do you agree with our expectations? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe or share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.